is Mike here with Wilderness Warriors. Um, wanted to go over a couple of things that I picked up. Uh, this one I picked up recently. This one was the first one of them that came out from Stanley. I actually have had this one for over a year now, just sitting on the shelf, haven't ever used it or anything. Um, primary reason that uh, I haven't used this one is that it doesn't fit a uh, standard Nalgene bottle. And I like everything to be multi-purpose and whatnot. So anyway, um, what this is is a standard uh, um, camp cook set and uh, cup set from Stanley, all stainless steel. Comes with two cups, which I will never use because they're heavy. But this in itself is a uh, relatively thin stainless steel. Uh, the flip up handle is kind of cool in that you can actually remove the handle, flip it over, or even just tuck it down in the in the bag or whatever if you were using a smaller uh, water bottle than Nalgene. And uh, that would actually go in your bottle carrier that way, which is kind of a cool feature to have. But like I said, I haven't used this one just because it does not fit a Nalgene bottle. It does have a nice lid. The lid um, isn't exactly what I would consider a universal lid, but if you have other cups out there, this is the Olecamp aluminum. Uh, it fits on there. It doesn't fit absolutely perfect, uh, but it fits enough to certainly make it usable. Um, the GSI Glacier Mug stainless steel, it fits it absolutely perfectly. So if you're using one of those in the field, uh, that lid is excellent for it. You can go underneath it inside your uh, bottle carrier or whatever. It stays out of the way, but certainly comes in very handy for it. Um, but I do like the cooker for the size. I'm going to do uh, some modifications on both of these. Um, just under the lip, you can see there, flip this up. just under that bead around the top, in between the handles, I'm going to drill a hole, very tiny one, and then right in the center over here, I'm going to drill a hole. I'm um, going to do the same thing with the, uh, the pot itself, and then I'm going to use fishing clips, removable clips, uh, dual lock snaps, um, real thin wire, super strong, and actually going to make a bale out of cable or wire um, that will collapse up, go into a pocket underneath it, take up virtually no space at all, and hold more weight than you could ever pile in here. Um, and the holes will not interfere in the use of boiling or cooking and tilting out to the side because never do you tilt back or do you tilt front. Um, when you're cooking with a pot like that, it's always left or right, so I'm going to keep those holes directly across from the handle and uh, should work just fine with that setup. I'm also going to do the same thing with this. And here we have the Stanley, I believe it's a two-person cook set. Very dull work knife. The other thing I like about these sets is that they do have graduations on it. Uh, so I have the label on this one, but uh, the graduations get on the side and they are visible from the inside. All right, this cook set is a little bigger in design. Same type flip over handle, and then you would slide this in. So no matter how you grab it, it can't collapse and come off with you. Stainless steel lid, flip up plastic handle, stays in place, vent holes in it, also straining holes so you can cook something in there and then strain the liquid out. Inside that, there are two lids. Two lids, two bowls. Again, items that I will probably never use. Um, they're also designed to where you can have your spoon or, or utensil or whatever in them and have the lid on, uh, not fully closed lids. Comes with some utensils that are kind of interesting. Um, I would say more for car camping than hiking or backpacking or bushcraft by any means. Um, they have handles that just snap on and then they actually snap together for whatever reason. Um, but useful for car camping, ladle, strainer, spatula, not too bad. Probably a uh, high temp nylon type material. Not really interested in it. What I am interested in is this. This thing is very lightweight for stainless steel. It's 1.6 quarts, graduations on the side in ounces and milliliters. Um, just a very good size for cooking, uh, boiling water, soup, stews, that sort of stuff. Um, excellent all-around pot. And again, you have strainer lid. And on this strainer lid, again, I'm going to do the same thing, drill a hole under there and a hole under the speed. And then I'm going to notch the lid. And I believe that I'm actually going to notch the lid on this one. Um, maybe the opposite. I don't know. I'm going to cut a groove to accept the hooks. Um, so when it's hanging on the bale, I can get this thing on and off. Um, not a real big issue, I don't think, but uh, keeps me from having to add anything else uh, to it and keep my weight down. 
So as soon as I get those done, I'll be back with you. Appreciate you tuning in. Thanks. All right, guys, I'm back. As you can see, or maybe not, a little bitty hole drilled right there. And another one right there. Same thing with this one. A little bitty hole. And a little bitty hole. And so what we're going to do is take these. That's four. Actually, that was five. I've got uh, two pieces of wire cut, one a little bit shorter for uh, the cup and one a little bit longer bale for the larger one. Put that in there. Fold that over. And I'm going to use something to twist. This is probably a little bit stiffer wire than is necessary. But it was what I had. The same thing with the other end. until you have two dangling. In general, I would probably make it to where the snaps go to the outside when you're hooking onto the pot. Definitely not something that's going to fall off or come loose out in the field. You will have to work a little bit to get them in and to get them back out. But like I said, they don't take up a whole lot of space. And right there you go. And we're going to do the little one the same way. Alright guys, I got both of them done. Um, like I said, you could do smaller snaps. Uh, I just picked those because they were of uh, uh, relatively heavy weight um, as far as what they'll hold. Uh, the wire doesn't have to be, you know, as heavy as this, which is what I had. Um, and then in the future, I'm going to cut grooves in the tops of both of these so that they will accommodate those hooks and still be able to use the tops. Um, I think it's going to be more important on the larger one than it is the small one. I'll probably use this one a little bit more and for other purposes so I definitely want to be able to just take this thing on and off and essentially all I'm going to do is put it on there like that and mark it here and on this side and then use an angle grinder with an eighth inch blade to just cut a groove in them so there you go thanks for watching